And I'm just curious, just tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and, and how you got to be where you are. Yeah, so originally from Canada, I relocated out here to Arizona back in 2013. So I was in a car accident in 2012, and then within a period of about four weeks, I ended up herniating two of my discs. And that kind of shut down my track and field career in Canada at the time and uh, kind of really put me on the path that led me to where I am now. And I so I struggled with having back pain for several years. I got exposed to naturopathic medicine when I was a personal trainer, kind of in between because I had originally thought about going to med school, was planning on going to traditional allopathic med school. Wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do there, but I knew that that was medicine was the path that I wanted to take. And so in between undergrad and then actually applying and kind of going to med school, I kind of discovered naturopathic medicine through a client of mine when I was personal training. It floored me to say the least because the principles of naturopathic medicine are just what I believe in terms of like what health and medicine should be. And so I kind of pivoted my path there and then went and applied at various naturopathic schools, ended up down here in Arizona, and then just got exposed to the regenerative medicine, PRP injections, stem cell therapy, things like that. I had my first PRP injection done on my low back in 2015. At that point, I was still having chronic pain from my low back. Nothing had really permanently moved the needle on that. Three months later, I was pain-free and I was back in the gym. And it was just like, holy cow, like this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And ever since 2015, my sole focus has been on helping people who have mostly chronic back pain. That's the biggest thing that we treat here in our practice. But we also treat knees and shoulders and ankles and all that stuff. That's just really what led me here. Wow, so powerful to have a doctor that also has experienced chronic pain because I feel like that really lights the fire under you to want to help people get better when you know chronic pain. It's like, oh, absolutely not. Or am I going to let you keep living like this? Yeah, it, it allows me to be able to relate to people a lot better. I've had a lot of patients tell me, you know, you know, they've seen other physicians and stuff like that. And usually these are your insurance-based docs who they get, you know, 10 minutes tops with them. And it just feels cold and it's just like, oh, suck it up or oh, you're just going to have to deal with this, get over it. And it's just, it's not a good way to approach chronic pain because those people are already suffering. And then they feel like they're being gaslit by medical providers by saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with your MRI. This is just in your head. You go to therapy. And it's just not a good way to approach it. And so, yeah, really being able to connect with my patients because I've been through it is really helpful. 